Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video I added the Excel export for posts and categories because I had a comment in my YouTube video. Now the last thing I'm going to add is a bulk action because also I had many comments in my YouTube videos uh, how to add that, how to do that and I think it's very easy but I'm going to do for the last one and we are finished with split so if you go to the split.dev documentation and in the table components yeah here we have the section for book action we need to have the road split table which we have so if I open the web roads yeah we have here and to add bulk action we just need to say a bulk action and we need to add the function or callback or here we have an example with label each and before and also the after so before and after arguments you may use at least to show a toast when the action has finished so let's do that let's copy this and mm, just like this and i'm going to go inside of the categories in here we have in we are in the categories table class we create we have created and also we have here an example but i'm going to remove them all now and here i'm going to add the bulk action and the label is going to be touch timestamps the same we have here just to show you here now we need to add the category model and also say category here and category touch we need to import also the toast uh, facade and say timestamps updated now we need to also add the column to show that uh, timestamp when we update it so this touch is going to update the updated at so let's add that one here so column updated at and let's save let's go in our browser and refresh we have the updated at here which is for today because i just added the migration fresh and seed but the time you can see here when we update is going to change this time so right now we don't see any error any uh, bulk action because we need to select the table the column so if i select this one and this one and now we have attach timestamps and just see here all the columns have all the categories has this timestamp this uh, time now we are going to change only the this two if i save touch timestamp we have timestamp updated and as you can see of course this two has updated so very easy we have also this notification now one more thing i want to do is to add another timestamp or, or another bulk action or just if you don't like to update only the updated add you can modify this but i'm going to add one more in here and i'm going to say delete categories for each function now i'm going to run the category delete which is going to delete the category and I'm going to say info let's remove this info I don't want this just here I'm going to say uh, categories deleted and let's come here and refresh okay now if I select I'm going to select the 
ID 2 and 3 because ID 1 has also the all the posts. All the posts belongs to the ID category with ID 1. So for that I'm going to select the category with ID 2 and 3 and come here and say delete categories. Now we are not going to have the category with ID 2 and 3 if I delete them. So if I say delete, categories deleted and we have 1 and then 4. So that is how easy we can add bulk action. You can do what you want but just to demonstrate to you I added the updated timestamp and also delete. Now the same thing I'm going to do for the post. So let's copy that and let's open the post post table and I'm going to add that in here and also let's add the column for updated that after the slug we need to import the toast facade and here not category but a post and also say post here the same for down there so say post and dollar sign post I added two dollar signs just one here we need to say delete post also post deleted and I think we are okay now let's save and let's navigate in the post if I refresh you can see the timestamps and let's select two of them and touch timestamps and timestamps updated and let's delete them uh, first we need to select and now if I say delete post so uh, let's add also the ID because I don't we don't see clearly so I'm going to copy this and add the first one which is going to be the ID and the refresh and now we have the ID here so if I select the ID 1 and 2 and delete post now we have the post deleted here and also the ID start from ID 3 so this is how easy is to add uh, bulk action with help of the split which uh, one other time I'm going to say very good package to have with Laravel to sp speed up your development if you want to use the Vue.js of course. That's it about this video and about this uh, tutorial on Split. I hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like, like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one friends. All the best.